G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley Spline Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. This is with the uh, Intova Sport HD. So just to show you what the fish is going to be seeing in there. So that's a, a great underwater camera and it's got an LCD screen at the back, so brilliant to see what you're actually doing. But it's just great just to see what the fish sees and how clear it is. And uh, we'll put this vision on and you'll be amazed at how clear this water is and how far up he can look. These are the uh, gorse bushes. So if you ever want to see what Rex weight is, those, keep away from those. Just pays to also, when you're walking up upstream, just be slow, you know, just take your time. Because fish are quite often going to be hard to see unless they're moving. So you've just got to take it one step at a time and scan the water looking for, for shapes. And that's what we like to see. Sometimes you might see a whole fish and you could count the dots. Other times you'll just see it like a grey smudge or a brown smudge. Uh, and that's generally a fish. But if you, you're patient enough and walk slow enough, you'll eventually see a bit of movement. And that's when you can concentrate your cast around it. So... Uh, Patience is the key. I don't want to go up any further. I've got a, a willow above me, so I'll do an angle cast just on this way and hopefully... Oh, look at that. Gee, they're beautiful when they're in the shallow water and they look that brown. Come on fish, flies will be around about him now, I need him to rise, he's going to get it, oh, he followed it down the whole way, can you believe that, so he's come down to look at it, probably started to drag a little, we'll see if he comes up to these, come on. Is right on line. Mm. Got a good look at the other ones. Oh, what's he doing now? Taking a nymph. Here he goes. Oh! That's. Disastrous. It's broken. That could well have been the last fish. There might have been a nick in it or something like that. That's annoying. That's annoying. That was that was a good fish. Good fish. But it just pays. I mean, that's just me being lazy. I haven't checked that knot. So, um, that's a shame. Oh yeah, I can see the fish. If you come here. Right, we've got all three fish now in close proximity. The one on the left, that little back it is rising. on the right. Slippery rocks. There he is there. I'll just go for that one on the left. No. Nope. Actually I'll go straight up the middle here, this one. Good. That's good when a plan comes together and that fish likes it. He's a, oh, that's got a bit of power in that. There's a lot of 
rocks and everything over that side. Gonna try and, uh, he was a bit surprised when there was a hook in that done. We could be in a little bit of strife there if he goes, and I can't turn him from that. So we, all we've got to do is hold that rod up high and try and avoid some of these rocks. And we're in a little bit of strife downstream. Just gone around a couple of rocks with that line. Slippery. All right. Just hooked up on the rock, but it should be okay. We can get in there and off. We're uh, we still connected? Yep. And here we go. He's <laughs> got a bit of power. I'll just try and get him out of this main current. It was hard work there for a little while. All that fitness work I've been doing. Good fish, good bit of go in it. We can keep him out of that current and we're all right. Nice big head on him too, he's, uh, he's good. So he's not as big as what we thought, but he's fighting above his weight. Make sure he's in the net. And then we're all set. Well, there you go, that was a little bit of excitement. And uh, we'll give him a weight, but it's a good solid fish, stops bucking. There you go, four and a quarter. No wonder a bit of grief. Once they get in that fast current, there's not much you can do. You've just got to go with them. I'll just bring him out and have a look at him. But he just looked like, like a relatively little fish when he was uh, sitting there from the back. If you can just see, that's a typical Matara brown. It's quite a good long fish, nice big head on him, a couple of years old. It's perfect. And he likes those duns too. Ooh, we'll get him back in. It's good to go already. Perfect. Well, that's all that needed to happen. We've uh, it's been hard, we've uh, got, got one really good fish, a break off of uh, a big one and now to see a couple of rises like that and to get them to take a pumper. We've still got probably another hour and a half left of this where the, the, the duns are going to hatch and the trout are going to be on them. Good fun.